Hi friends, this is Jay Eichmann, YouTube channel Road Test Success. This is going to be a great video for you if you're having some anxiety about your upcoming test. It's basically a relaxed afternoon drive. This examiner is kind, yet consistent, and the driver is skilled. There, he has practiced a lot, and he is a skilled and confident driver. So in watching this test, you can see what the test can be like if, if things go well for you. This student did a great job. The student also asks a lot of good questions, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to the beginning for the pre-drive inspection so you can actually hear some of the conversation between the examiner and the student. You'll notice we've got that rear view camera view up there in the corner. Simulate that as your rear view mirror and as you're watching the video, make it a point to scan and check that mirror, especially for lane changes and things like that. If you're new to the channel, you notice we do things a bit differently here. The comment section is used as a forum for you to ask questions, get answers, and also get some encouragement. So comment your test date, and we'll wish you luck. Um, is a right on red appropriate if you stop and all that stuff? Yes. I would prefer it, prefer actually. It, right? I want to see it. I want to make sure that you're doing it safely and correctly. Okay. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, Okay. Alright, anything else? Um, Say there's, because I don't know the route, so okay. say there's like construction or say there's a traffic stop for someone. Mm -hmm. uh, is it appropriate if I, it's because the move over the right for traffic stops, is it appropriate if I move over in that case without your direction? Yeah. Or? If I, yes, in some cases, if you know it is correct, 100% get okay. over without me telling you to get over. Okay, okay. And that's just you recognizing safety as uh -huh. well. I love that. That's awareness. I'm okay. completely with that in every way. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Any, anything else? Um, will you tell me speed limits or no? In specific, on specific Easy. streets, yes. Okay. Because sometimes they're not yeah. posted for a long time, so yeah. I want you to know it. But in other cases, if I'm not saying anything, that typically yeah. means that there's a speed limit sign very close to you. Okay. Okay? That makes sense then. Good? Yep. Sounds good. Okay, so whenever you are ready, we are going to back out, and we are going to go this direction. One last thing. If you have a backup camera. Yeah, don't lose it. Yeah, I mean, I don't care if you throw a little glance at it yeah. for a second to make sure there's no people walking behind yeah, you. Because you're testing me on whether I can Correct. operate the vehicle safely without them. Without using, using it. Yeah, sure, 100%. All right, so All right. whenever you're ready, man, you let me know. It's good questions. Most people don't ask me questions. They're mostly crap in their pants. <laughs> this way? <laughs> yes, you okay. got it. Which is understandable as well. Course. Yeah. Anxiety through the roof. So clearly the examiner and student are already off to a good start. You know, asking questions is a great way to kind of break the ice. And I think it shows the examiner that you have some confidence and some comfort about the situation, this driving test situation that you're in. You're Nothing wrong with asking questions, street. and you heard this examiner Outside, actually appreciated the, the questions. And we're going to make a right. I taught you how to drive. Oh my god. Your dad did. Yeah. We'll see if he's a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he drove in the Philippines because my parents are originally from there. Oh. Uh -huh. And it's kind of crazy. Really. Yeah. Yeah, we have a couple Filipino drive examiners and they were born there, so we hear war stories, you know? <laughs> We'd love the chance to feature your drive test video on the channel, so if you're interested in learning more about that and potentially getting payment for your dash camera, check the links below the video. was not the time to beat traffic, huh? Usually in the morning is much better, actually. Really? Yeah. It is a Saturday, right? Yeah. Because the DMV allows walk-ins today? Yes. Yes. Well, Saturdays only, right? Or mm -hmm. like no, we allow it all the time. Oh. But um, your chances of getting in are much, much lower on oh. a weekday. Especially since the appointments wait like three months, so they uh -huh. should definitely be priority over any walk-in, in my opinion. It's really, especially since the COVID, it's so difficult to get that appointment. Yeah. So. Yeah, that didn't make it easy on either side. You, uh -huh. you guys or us. It just backed us up even worse. and. Uh -huh. You know, you have to make all these exceptions and stuff, so... Yeah, that totally makes sense. Go ahead and change it to the left lane when it's safe. Alright. And we are going to...
to make our next left turn. Into this neighborhood? You got it. Right here. Another great opportunity for viewers of the channel is our driver's book. It's available through Amazon. It tells you all the things that they have not told, taught you in your driver's training. And you can actually get the digital download for free here for a minute. with a subscription to Audible. Yeah, so check voice. out the banner above. <laughs> the tricycle? A little bicycle? Yeah, I don't know what that is, but I mean, I'd like to ride it down a hill too. <laughs> Watch out for this guy. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that might be. No. Oh, no, cool. uh, My friend's actually getting an electric scooter uh -huh. to go to school because the, the class started this year. We're going to make a left here at this stop sign. Got it. Go ahead. Sorry. Because. Um, Usually my dad and I carpool him to school every morning, okay. and he's actually going to get a scooter because, you know, if I'm going to be driving to school, I can't actually take him. Okay. I mean, they definitely save on money. Yeah. Because <laughs> so. I've been carpooling with him since, what is it, freshman year? Because I've known him all the way since elementary, so it's a pretty cool friend. Sure. <laughs> Going. We're just going to keep going straight here at the stop right. sign.
it's safe, I want you to change into the middle lane. So this student is doing a phenomenal job. The examiner is also a very good examiner, clear instructions. There's lots of conversation happening in this car and my advice to you on conversing with the examiner would be don't make conversation but if you're comfortable you can have conversation. So don't try to force a conversation break. to try to break the tension. <laughs> yeah, you know they tried to redo it but uh -huh. it still got like some of the leftover stuff from the yeah, previous yeah, yeah. lane. My hunch is that this student is just a comfortable driver and a talkative person. Clearly they're able to talk and drive the car safely. If that's the situation for you, then by all means, and that keeps you comfortable. But for the most part, you should probably just focus on driving, checking your blind spots, checking your mirrors, and being careful throughout the test. So a great examination, a great test. This student was prepared. The examiner is a very good examiner. Did you notice all of the lane changes on this test? Lane changes are a very important part of the test. They're going to be very critical of you and your lane change technique. So remember to be very critical as you do your lane changes, your signal, then check your mirrors and let your signal work for a few moments then checking your blind spot over the shoulder and then going when safe. Now this also applies to merging into a bike lane. Bike lanes are becoming more and more common on the roadways and you have to do the same lane change procedure when you're moving into a bike lane. They are failing students for improper bike lane procedure. Find you a spot here. You got two on your left right here if you want to take one of these. Big thank you for watching the video. Remember, these videos will help with your stress, your nerves, and for knowing what to prepare for, but there's no substitute for practicing behind the wheel. So make sure you get plenty of time behind the wheel before your, act your actual driving test day.